Nautic Ed, the world's most advanced online sailing education. Use the skills you learned in the Nautic Ed Coastal Navigation Clinic to solve this navigation problem of calculating a heading with known leeway and current. On a US map of Long Island Sound, we want to go from Horton Point to Clinton Harbour. A current is running out of the east at 3 knots. The windage on your boat is such that you will have 10 degrees leeway to port. Your boat will be making 6 knots. Given a ship's deviation table resulting in a deviation of 3 degrees east, what should be your heading per ship's compass? And what would be your ETA if you left at 0900? To solve this, draw the track from Horton Point to Clinton Harbour. Now let's watch what happens over one hour for mathematical convenience. In theory, you will head out six nautical miles in some direction while the current will bring you back to the west three nautical miles. So now draw a line parallel to the desired track but three nautical miles to the east since your current is out of the east. At any point on this parallel line, we know that in one hour the current will bring us back to the track. So now we just need to find the point on that line where we would be in one hour without any current, which would be our heading. Sweep the dividers set on six nautical miles from Horton Point to meet the new parallel line. This is the point that we should be heading whilst the current is pulling us back to the desired track. However, note that this is without any leeway calculated in yet. We find that this heading is 7.5 degrees true. Now draw in the effect of the current and we will find that we are on track 6.3 nautical miles from Horton Point. Over one hour that gives us a speed of 6.3 knots. Now we lay out the table to calculate the magnetic and compass headings. With a variation of 14 degrees west, we get a magnetic heading of 21.5 degrees. With a compass deviation of 3 degrees east, our compass heading then should be 18.5 degrees. Now allowing for the 10 degrees of port leeway from windage, your ship's compass heading should be 28.5 degrees. To calculate the ETA, we first find the distance from Horton Point to Clinton Harbour entrance, which is 10.8 nautical miles. At 6.3 knots, the time to travel that will be 1.71 hours, or 1 hour and 42 minutes. Thus, the ETA will be 10.42. Not again, the world's most advanced online sailing education.